Welcome to the next lesson in Course 2 and in this technique I'm sharing with you how to make faded lines. You can see here in my layout that I've made some faded lines kind of as a divider. Kind of gives a color blocking effect. Um, gave me spots to put things in grounded um, things. Um, you'll see this a lot done with just maybe to set off the text in layouts and if I zoom in you're going to see this effect a little bit better and most of the time people use the, do this in um, the full version of Photoshop because it can be done using brush dynamics and um, paths and you'll often see it uh, at the end of curvy lines that you make using paths in the full version of Photoshop and I wanted to set out to show that you can do this in Photoshop Elements too and it's not that hard. Of course um, in the full version the line kind of tapers in also uh, but I think it's just as effective having it just to kind of fade out in the end here. may not come to that um, calligraphy look as well as in the full version of Photoshop but it is still cool and so here's what we're going to do I'm gonna find these layers and turn them off so that we can recreate them first I'm going to create a new layer for us to work on and then I'm going to get out my brush tool and I found this works best with the hard brushes um, of course, uh, a thinner line I think is nicer. I think I used the 19 but um, in my sample, but let's play with 13. Well, let's go with 19 to see what it looks like. I think 13 might also be a really good size. But then let's click up here to show the brush dynamics and make sure you're using a hard brush because um, you want it at 100 percent here. If it isn't, just grab this slider and make it a hard brush. And um, then the thing that you need to set is your fading. Now this was a little bit diff difficult, kind of a hard thing and I had to go back and forth playing with it. Um, basically this number here, it says the number of steps to fade the brush. You can kind of think of it more or less as um, <coughs> the number of pixels, maybe. I'm, I'm sure steps might relate to spacing also. <coughs> if you wanted to um, bring your spacing down, you could also do that, and this would be more um, related maybe to the amount of pixels you have across. You, somebody can calculate that for us if they want. <coughs> but basically I had to play with this. I just set it at a number. We'll put it at a lower number for uh, to begin with and I actually have a brighter blue than I used <coughs> on my lines and then just click down with your brush and draw and and draw up and see where your brush ends. You can see I didn't get very far with that one and um, of course to make straight lines we need to hold down our shift key. <coughs> I don't know why I start coughing whenever I take videos. So I'm gonna make it go up a little further and um, you can see that this is too far because it goes way off my page. I just did that drastically to show you what would happen. So you need to keep moving around until you find something you know that works. I'm going to do this 231 and see what happens. And I thought that would go further than that. Obviously it doesn't. So let's go up. It, I think when I had my spacing up here at 25, it, that was a good number. Let's see. Yes, see, it's a good number with the spacing in the default spacing. But it's still not quite far enough because I wanted mine to go beyond the photo. I'm going to try this 1% spacing and go up to like 600 and see what it looks like. 
and see that didn't go very far either. <laughs> see this is some a little bit just a bit of playing. I actually like it better with the higher spacing and the lower so let's try around 300 and once you get it um, to a point like this that's pretty good actually that's about how far I wanted to go maybe a little bit longer I can hit the undo and manually go in and it's a little bit long so I'm gonna do 300 this time and go ahead and put it in again to see if that's what I like and I like it and so I need to do the one going down you want to kind of start in the center and do both edges separately and you're going to have to line it up just right or it won't work and go again but you can see it since it's not in the center I went off the page so here we go again doing this but it's really you know not too difficult to get that perfect size because you're only going to be making a few lines and there that was about perfect and so now I have my faded line and I could do the same thing um, going across and you see it fades very nice here at the end now I did play with it to see if I could get those um, dynamics where it tapers in that you can get in the full version and if you hold down your control key and grab the bounding box and move you can get that tapered look it's not too hard it looks pretty nice actually so um, but it uh, messes up the other end <laughs> that's what I remember from doing it it's a little difficult because it messes up the other end so if you're going to be doing that um, grabbing holding down the control key to distort when you resize with the bounding boxes that's what I remember now you have to almost uh, keep the both ends on separate layers so you'd have to resize the one stroke going up and resize the one stroke going down on separate layers in the layers palette in order to uh, effectively get this taper. Um, I decided it wasn't worth it and just hit undo that this was good enough for me. Um, I did re do some resizing though. Uh, I did do some resizing this way and making longer in mine when I couldn't get it exactly right. I suppose you probably could resize this way and make your line thinner and it still be effective if you uh, make too big, big of a brush. Um, that would still work too. So, um, But the distorting actually kind of distorts both ends so uh, you would need to um, do that on separate layers if you were uh, trying to make it come to a point more. Anyway, there you go. I want to see what you can do with these tapered lines. I think it's such a small little thing that makes a huge impact on a layout. Often it's those things that um, do make the biggest difference on a layout. Just something small. So uh, have fun, an easy one for you this time.